On Thursday, former President Rodrigo Duterte clarified that his proposition to separate Mindanao from the Philippines is a legal process that could be presented to the United Nations, drawing parallels with the secession of Timor-Leste and Kosovo in Serbia. In an interview with lawyer Salvador Panello on DZRG TV station, Duterte emphasized that his priority is a legal approach rather than provoking a dispute. Expressing dissatisfaction with what he termed as mediocre reactions from government authorities and cabinet officials, Duterte refuted the notion that advocating for Mindanao's secession implies a call for war. He asserted that the proposal is not against the Constitution but falls outside its purview, as secession is based on the right of free will and determination by the people. Duterte argued that there is no absolute legal theory when it comes to separating a region from a nation, emphasizing the necessity for laws to be adaptable. He maintained that if a region seeks to secede, it should be done under the auspices of the United Nations. Panello supported Duterte's explanation, highlighting the importance of self-determination principles. Duterte stressed the need for people to comprehend the fundamentals of self-determination before forming opinions on Mindanao's secession, emphasizing that secession can be pursued peacefully. Addressing concerns about the International Criminal Court's jurisdiction, Duterte contended that only Philippine forces could serve a warrant issued by the ICC. Meanwhile, President Marcos dismissed calls for a separate Mindanao, labeling it a doomed proposition and a violation of the Philippine Constitution. During the Constitution Day celebration in Makati City, Marcos emphasized the existence of genuine local autonomy, particularly in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, Barum. He urged those advocating for Mindanao's separation to cease, calling it a grave violation of the Constitution and a threat to national integrity. Marcos underscored the Philippines' commitment to unity as outlined in the Constitution, contrasting it with the proposed movement for Mindanao separation. He emphasized the absence of provisions for secession in the Constitution and highlighted laws criminalizing rebellion. Officials from Mindanao and the Marcos administration promptly rejected Duterte's proposal with a readiness to employ force to suppress any separatist movements.